Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah. I'm a Python developer and in this video I will be teaching you how to do uh, how to do a machine learning algorithm using scikit logistic regression. Uh, you might be knowing logistic regression but I'm gonna teach you in a different way. So first of all I'm gonna teach you the easy way, the normal code then we will move into object oriented code and um, we will also do a little bit of data analysis using pandas, python and seaborn. Um, uh, so stay tuned with me and let's get started with the tutorial without wasting much of time. So I'm right now on my Jupyter notebook. I highly advise you guys to do the examples and not just watch the videos because that will uh, give you a little practice, right? So first of all, we need to import pandas as PD. So once it's done that, I need to do import seaborn. So I'm gonna say tap to autocomplete as SNS. Uh, so here you can see SNS. So once I have these two library, the pandas is used for reading the data set and the seaborn is used for data visualization, right? So I'm gonna hit um, command, uh, sorry, I'm gonna hit um, control uh, return on my Mac, oops. So to execute the cell here, you can see it's being executed, right? So now the first step would be reading the data frame is equal to, uh, so I'm gonna say PD dot read CSV, right? So which is by usual, hit tab to autocomplete. Uh, wanna give the data set name, by the way, the entire data set and the Jupyter notebook is also there on the GitHub account. So make sure to check that out and make sure to follow me on the GitHub account, right? So the first step, as I, as you can see, we are re reading the data set, right? So I'm gonna say df.head2. I just want the two, two, two of them. So the first step would be always, you should know your data set properly. So I'm gonna say uh, here, I'm just gonna say know your data set, right? So what do I mean by know, know your data set? Basically, you wanna check how many columns are there. Is there any null columns or not? Uh, so you wanna check all of that, right? So I can see I have a daily time spent on the site. So uh, how many, how much time uh, pe that person is spending on the site? We have his age, we have his average income, we have his daily internet usage. So we have that number as well. Add topic line. So we have that as well. We have city from which it was recorded. I believe it's, um, and then we have the six column that is the male and female. We have country and we have the timestamp and whether that person click on the advertiser or not. So we have to do, we have to write a machine learning model to predict uh, whether he will click based on these set of data. So how do we do that, right? So first of all, as I said, know your data set correctly. So I'm gonna say df, I'm gonna say df.info, so which will give me the information about the data set, right? After doing df.info, what I need to do, basically I need to say df.describe, right? To, to get the data set, uh, to understand the data set. So after getting df.dataset, I wanna visualize if there are any null columns. So I'm gonna say there are two methods to do that. So the first method is using the uh, pandas. Uh, so I'm gonna say is, um, is null, so is null and you wanna run the sum count on that. So here you can see, um, so essentially we have all zeros. That means we do not have any, um, uh, any, any, any blank or missing value. Uh, another way to visualize that would be SNS dot, um, uh, you can say uh, heat map, so heat map, uh, tab to autocomplete, uh, df dot is null, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And you wanna say y tick is equal to false, so you wanna say the false, right? And after that, what we wanna do basically, um, we wanna set a not equals to true, all right? So a not is true. Now if I run this, it's gonna, sh uh, it's not gonna show me any, uh, I'm gonna show you what I try to mean what I'm trying to say. So this will actually visualize the data set whether we have any kind of um, null values or not. Remember, it's gonna take time because it's gonna do that on the entire data set. We have how many columns, oh sorry, how many rows. Uh, we have just about thousand entries. It's a small data set, not too big, right? So it's fine. So we can just run this again and you know, it's fine. We can keep this running. Uh, we will move to the step two that is uh, creating a machine learning model, train test split and stuff like that, right? So I'm gonna say step two. And remember, I'm also gonna teach you the object oriented code. So do not uh, hang up the video. Uh, you will learn a lot, as I said. So for um, uh, for scikit-learn, we need to do a train test split. We need to divide the data set into the training data and testing data. So I, I'm gonna say from sklearn.models. Uh, let me just stop this because you know, this seaborn uh, is gonna take time and uh, because since I'm also recording this video, uh, I don't want to crash my computer. So I'm just going to do run all quickly. If that does not, uh, I mean, if I'm not seeing the output right now, I'm going to stop it and I'm going to move to the step number two. So essentially right now, let's see if 
I'm going to say sell. I'm going to say run all, right? So that's now running. Uh, so still this is running. I mean, I don't know why it's taking that much time. Uh, maybe I can just stop it, right? So, I mean, you got the idea what I'm trying to say, right? So that's what I was start trying, trying to say. So, so we don't have any null values. Just want to give you a little bit of information. So from sklearn.model, we need to import the train test split. Remember, uh, I will do this on the top of uh, the import library, right? Uh, as I said, we're gonna do the first uh, machine learning model that is logistic regression, right? So essentially gonna import that as well. And after that, um, to get a nice report, I'm gonna say classification report. So from sklearn.matrix import classification report. And I'm gonna say control and return on my Mac to run the cell. All right, um, once that is done, I uh, wanna do that again. Uh, so just make sure that the number changes to uh, a different one. I don't know why is that taking so, lo so long. So, I mean, it's done, so it's fine. So we can move to the step two, uh, which is creating our model and train test split. So essentially, if you, you wanna create your model, right? So you don't wanna give text data, right? So the machine learning does not like text data. So we gotta, I mean, we have to drop the timestamp and the add topics, right? And even the city. So, uh, and even the country, we need to drop that. So our feature columns are essentially uh, these three, right? We can do feature engineering and we can, you know, uh, create this into a like unique stuff like countries. Uh, we don't know how many countries are there. I can show you that, but that will be again data analysis and not machine learning. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna lose our focus from what we are doing. So, uh, so I'm gonna say df dot columns, right? Uh, and essentially, gonna say tab to order complete so these are the list of columns so now i'm gonna prepare my training data so i'm gonna say x data right and from this x data you have to give the names of the column that you want basically so i want daily time spent on the site right so i will copy that from here right and make sure to include that in the quotes you know string right after that i need what column do i need i need the age column for my machine learning right so essentially uh, the age column sorry for that uh what else do we need uh we need area income we can take that so it, since it's a number we can nor we should normalize our data set usually but um, for the first example since you're completely new uh, to this i would not do that right and after that i'm just gonna take the male column right so either uh, the male either the sex is male or female right um so that's all i'm gonna do right so that's my x data so remember when you're passing multiple columns you have to pass inside the brackets right so do not forget that i can show you a beautiful data analysis also on this so which will be a later part right now machine learning is our priority all right so once that is done i uh, want to run that cell right similarly now i want to perform the y data so what's our y data we are trying to predict whether that person clicked on the advertise or not so i'm gonna take that column quickly and i'm gonna say df dot that name of the column right and and run the cell you can see 20. so once i'm done with that uh, it's pretty easy uh, just do a train test split uh, which should be uh, this line of code right so just gonna copy uh, line of code here so train test split i pass in my x data and y data right essentially the just the data all right so once done with that we need to run the cell right so once that is done that's beautiful. Now we just need to create our machine learning model and run it. It's pretty easy. So we need to say model equals to logistic regression, and we need to pass in um, uh, parameters. That is our the so so we can pass in parameters like maximum meters and stuff like that. So how many iterations do you want? Uh, so um, essentially, I'm just gonna say 100 right now. Uh, 100 is more than enough for 150. So I'm just gonna say max data equals to 150 right uh that's all we need to just run this now um beautiful we have run it now we need to fit the model right so model dot uh, i'm gonna say fit right and uh this will take uh, two parameters as i said x train you're gonna train it right so we will say x train we're gonna say y train essentially that is done our model is created here you can see now we need to just uh, test the model so i'm gonna say model dot uh you can do evaluate uh, but i'm just gonna say predict so i'm gonna say model dot predict right i want to store this in pred right so i'm gonna show uh, store it in the pred and i'm gonna give the x test oops 
right and if you observe i will run this right now if you see the prediction this is the prediction your neural network made right essentially ones and zeros we don't understand this so in order to understand this properly uh, what we need to do is basically guys we need to convert this into a confusion matrix or a report we need to see how much uh, good our model did right so we imported confusion matrix so i'm just gonna say classification report so uh, to evaluate your model you're gonna say report uh, I'm gonna say equal um, and the classification report. Uh, essentially, this will take the two stuff. So, uh, one of them gave Y test. This is what our, we were expecting the actual uh, output and what our model predicted. So, I'm gonna supply pred, right? So, if I just run this, nothing happens. Now, if I run the report, I have a beautiful report. All right. So, um, if I run this, here you can see. Uh, let me just print it so you can uh, read it right so all right so we have a 90 percent of ac accuracy straight enough with 150 uh, iterations here you can see that's amazing we can also get a confusion matrix uh, so you want to see how much our neural network was missing so it's gonna say confusion matrix and this will take y test and uh, what do we need to give guys Pred, right what our model predicted uh sorry for that so run it this is our confusion matrix you can visualize this as well so this is the end of part one in the part two we will be making a complete object oriented code so we will learn how to do an object oriented code uh, for uh, for this so this is pretty easy um uh, by the way uh, the links would all, would be there in the description section below i am creating a whole new playlist on scikit learn and hope you have fun this is samil shah um, so if you have any questions please list them in the comment section below i would be very happy to answer all of your questions so thank you for watching and see you in part 2 where we would be converting this code into a object oriented code thank you for watching